Hi, welcome to Board Games in Buckets. I'm Frankie. Uh, today, we're going to look at Agropolis, a standalone Sprolopolis game. I will play it solo, and uh, then we'll come back here and tell you what I think about it. How's it going, everybody? I thought I'd do a quick solo play of Agropolis, a new game I just got in from Button Shy, um, designed by Stephen... Aramini, Danny Devine, and Paul Kluka. Um, it's Agropolis, so it's kind of like the expansion or second second iteration of Sprawlopolis, and this one's got farming in it. So if you don't know about Button Shy Games, they come in these little wallets. They're about 18 cards. If you kickstart them, sometimes you get extra cards that are like expansions and whatnot. But here it is. You open it up. All the cards are inside this little wallet here. You got your rules. 18 cards. I already set up a game. Um, so what you do is you shuffle all these cards up. Every single card has a different scoring condition, which is kind of neat. But you shuffle all these up, you pick three of them, you set them aside, like I've already done over here. Right now we are playing with count your chickens. Um, which means I'm trying to get chickens across a straight road. And we have coops and loops. Um, trying to get chickens inside of a road, which could be difficult with all the extra chickens I got here. And then big country, where I'm trying to get a giant grid of cards. All right. So how that works is, again, you shuffle these up. One card gets dealt out to the middle. You draw a hand of three, and off you go. All right, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get to fulfill these things. I'm also trying to get big blocks, which basically means I want a bunch of reds touching, a bunch of browns touching, a bunch of purples touching, and a bunch of yellows touching. I also don't want my road. I don't want that many roads. I want to try to connect the road pieces if I can. So I'm going to play really fast and loose here, just so you can get an idea of what this solo game looks like. All right, so. So maybe I do something like that. Now that's a legal move. This is a legal move. This is a legal move. That's a legal move. As long as the card is either touching or on top of it, but you can't turn the cards. It doesn't really work with the rectangles. So maybe I'll do something like that. And then I draw another card. Um, still no chickens, and I kind of want to try to keep, I'm trying to start with a yellow cluster for some reason. These aren't great for a yellow cluster. So maybe now I try to start to build into some chickens if I can't afford it. Maybe I do something like that, keep this road together, and um, see where it takes me. Got another card here. Or maybe I'll put this one like that, keep that yellow pocket going and draw another. So right now I'm just mostly focused on these yellows. Now I got chickens here. Now to fulfill this, I kind of want to get some chickens up there. So can I put a card on the other side of this that gives us some chickens? This one works. Now I am kind of ignoring all of the scoring conditions here just to get that so I don't get negative four points. So now that that's done, I can try to surround some of these chicken coops in a big road.
this works. Now I got some purples connected and some reds connected and I got a big swath with some chickens on the inside. Got two more. I'm almost out of cards and now I'm trying to get big country. So I'm gonna want a six by six. Right now my biggest swath is five by four. So if I wanna flush this thing out, I'm gonna have to try to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to put this card somewhere that doesn't hurt my robes too terribly much. I feel like that's okay. All right. So I'm done. It's that quick of a game. So now I just go ahead and I start to tally this stuff up. Um, they don't give you a score pad or anything, I just usually write it on a post-it pad or whatever you got. Um, so yellow, my biggest clump of yellow is one, two, three, four, which means I get four points for a yellow block. My browns, pens, one, two, three, four, five. My biggest purple chunk is one, two, three, four, five. My biggest red is only three. That's where I kind of took a, a lower, lower score. And now roads I deduct. So let's just add this up first. Um, 17. Now I have to subtract one for every road I have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not great. So now my score right now is at nine. And then over here, uh, my target score is 18, which is this plus this plus this, plus this little symbol here. You can see that means for every chicken on the bottom, I have to add more points. And I have two of those. So there's two chickens here. Two times two is four. So four plus eight plus two plus four is 18. Um, so far I got nine. Let's see if I get any points for chickens. So I need, I get points for chickens across roads. I think this might be my only one. One, two, three points. I'm looking for other brown chicken coops. There's one, but no chickens on the other side. So yeah, just three points for chicken coops. Or count your chickens. Chicken loops. This is where I get two points for every chicken inside. So everything inside this loop, which is where I'm going to make back some points. One, two, well, one, two, three, four. Four doubled is eight. And then big country. I do have a one, two, three, four, five by six. A five by five is two points. So I think I... I think I beat my score here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 plus 8 is 20, 22. So I got 22 and the target score was 18. Consider that a win. Yay. All right, I'm going to take it up top, show you what I think about this game, and uh, some ideas I have for storage. And there you have it, a quick and dirty solo play of Agropolis. Um, you saw the playthrough, it was only about 10 minutes, and that was with me explaining a little bit of the rules and the setup and the scoring. So yeah, you can, you can open this. You might think a little bit longer than I did, but 15 minute game, it's pretty solid. Um, it does play one to four players. You can kind of do a co-op thing around the table instead of playing by yourself. I prefer to play by myself. I feel like that's the best way to get it done. Um, and yeah, it is an expansion to Sprawlopolis. It's a standalone expansion. It plays a little bit differently. Those pastures, like I don't know if you can see that, but um, with the animals, those are a little bit different. Sprawlopolis didn't really have that. It was just kind of the chunks of different colors on each card, the four different colors and the roads. Um, both games are great. One thing that I will say is I'm not a fan of these wallets. I know a lot of people probably like them because they can put them in a 
pocket and just kind of go. But I'm worried about if I'm taking it out of the house, how scuffed are my cards going to get? And I'm a sleever anyway. So if I want to sleeve these, um, I'm going to have to find a different solution. Plus, if you kickstart them or you just order them online, you can kind of get expansion cards. So like Agropolis came with Invasion, Comboopolis, which combines this and Sprawlopolis together. And then I got a bunch for Sprawlopolis. So all these little extra cards plus sleeved aren't going to fit in here. I don't think. Um, they do have a solution on their website. It's like this fanny pack looking thing that can shove a whole bunch of these little wallets into, which probably works great. For me, though, since I want a sleeve, I think I'm just going to put them in, in this. So this is um, a set of sleeves from Arcane Tinman. They're called Board Game Sleeves. I think this is the right size. But they come with their own little deck box, which is really nice. You can, you can write on the side of the box here what games are in it. And I bet I can sleeve Agropolis and Sprawlopolis and the promos and pretty much every other button shy game I have. I think I have four or five of them at this point. Probably fit them all in one or two of these. This is a little more chunky than this, but still fairly portable. It can protect my cards that way. Um, I think I'm going to be happy with that. Maybe you love these. That's great too. Um, here's the big question though. If you have Sprawlopolis, do you need Agropolis? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. These games are pretty cheap. Like if you kickstart them, it's like 10 bucks plus shipping, three, four, five bucks for a print and play. Um, they're not that expensive. So yeah, if you like Sprawlopolis, give Agropolis a shot because it's got those cool animals on them that kind of adds an extra wrinkle to the gameplay. You can get the expansion to combine both of them together. Just gives you more options. Um, another thing that's just great about these games is every card is a different scoring condition and you always pull three. So that's a lot of different combinations. Um, so there's some replayability here, I think. And if you, um, what I like to do is I'll take three and I'll play and I'll usually do miserable at it, but then I'll, I'll leave those same three scoring cards out and I'll try again and again until I can hit that target score. That's kind of how I prefer to play. Um, so that works for me. Um, I do think that if you like Sprawlopolis, Agropolis was a no brainer. Um, if you have any questions, shoot them down in the comments below. Have you played this one yet? Do you like it? What do you think? Anyway, um, I'm Frankie from Board Games with Buckets. Thanks for watching. See you next time.